Alright, welcome back to Skype and Sniping on how to Ifinity. In the other video, I bought three IPS monitors and I want to do Ifinity. So, this card right here, just for example, is a 6870. This card here has two DVIs, HDMI, and two mini display ports. Here are the cables that I will be showing you connectors, just active cables, stuff that you can use to get your Ifinity working. Here is a DVI cable, here is an HDMI cable, here is a VGA cable, here is a connector that goes from HDMI to DVI, here is another connector that goes from VGA to DVI, then here we have a active DisplayPort cable. It goes from mini DisplayPort to DVI. And then here we have another one that goes from the bigger display port to DVI. We won't be using this one because this card does not have a big display port connector in it. So to set up Ifinity, the way I would do it would be you use DVI cables. VGA doesn't give you the good the the, the, the better quality is what you want. So here we go and plug one in to the bottom one. If I can get it in there, okay. Plug another one into the top. So now you have two monitors that are hooked up through DVI. Then you need a third one for Affinity. So we're going to use an active DisplayPort cable. Make sure it's active. If it's not active, some cards will not register that the monitor's hooked up. Some won't even know that it's there. It just won't work. Got to make sure it's active. The signal won't won't be there if it's not active. You plug it in here. And then you'd go and you get another DVI cable and you'd run it to here to your monitor. After you have this set up, you'd go and go to your settings on your computer and you would set up Ifinity. I'll be showing that in another video as well. All right, I showed you the way I said I would set up Ifinity with the best quality and the best way to do it. Now here is, I have a whole box of these DisplayPort cables. So I'm going to take another one out, and I'm going to plug it into the other display port right here. So now we have two. So then we can go ahead and use the DVI, just one of them. Let's say your video card doesn't come with two display ports. This would work. I'm sorry, two DVIs. This one has two display ports. If your card doesn't come with two DVI ports like this one, this is how your setup would be. This is for the best quality and the best way you can do it. All right, let's say your, your card doesn't have a mini display port. Let's say it just has one big one. So you go and you plug this in. So just for instance, I'm just going to move these. I'm just going to lay it here. So you'd plug this one in. And then let's say your card has a DVI, HDMI, and one of the, the big uh, display ports. So you go and you grab an HDMI cable, and you plug it in here. All right, so now that's plugged in. And this one, let's just pretend this one's plugged in as well. This is this is another way you can set it up. I'll show you another way as well. Let's say you don't have, you know, a, a, a DVI cable. Let's say you have VGA. So you go and you grab this type of connector, VGA to DVI. So we go and you plug it in like this. So it's plugged in. Now on this card, like I said, uh, this card only on the top one, you can use a connector. If your card's not working for some reason or something's not happening, you might want to check out to see if your card can support two adapters. So let's say we, you have a HDMI cable. You're going to do the same thing. Plug it in here. Okay. You get it plugged in. So there it goes. And then let's say you, you only have another big one. You'd plug it in there or you have a small one like it has here. You just plug them in. And then you'd go. There's your three monitors. There's also another way to do this as well. One more way. Let's say you only have HDMI cables, okay? You can go and you can get a connector like this. Plug it in here. And you can go ahead and plug it into here. And then you can go ahead and get another HDMI cable. Plug it into here. And then, like I said before, you can pick, your, it depends on what type of display port you have in the back. You got a big one, you plug it in the big one. You got, you got small ones here on this card. So you plug it in here. 
Alright, and then you go and just plug this HDMI, or I'm sorry, DVI in, into this DVI port here. And then that would be another way to do your iFinity. Now, now that I've showed you different ways on how to do your iFinity, I will go and show you how to set up iFinity as well as how to align things and make the iFinity work right. And that would be another video. Thanks for watching.